Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be a long-awaited video that I've been trying to do for the longest now. But I think it's finally time for me to record and show you guys the whole nest with me process and preparation for our baby girl. So let me tell you this. Last night, well yesterday, we had a scare. I thought... I was about to go to labor. I was having contractions and they were really, 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 really close together in time. But I'm still not dilated, so yes. So with that happening last night and yesterday all throughout the day, I decided like I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started and up now before baby decides to show up a little bit early. If you don't know, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera a lot. I'm 36 weeks pregnant um, now, going on 37. So baby girl could be here any minute. So before that happens, I wanted to film this video for you guys. And let's see, I'm gonna start off by showing you what I have and show you kind of like the process that's been going on. I'm sorry, I'm filming in my room right now, but I'm about to head to the nursery right now. <sighs> I'm just so out of breath, but yeah. So if you're ready to see me next and you want to watch me clean and stuff like that and organize, let's go ahead and get this video started. So now that I'm in the baby's room, I'm going to go ahead and give you an overview of what we got going on here. My husband decided to join, or maybe not, he's just probably checking up on me. That's Eric over there, but okay, let me go ahead and show you everything that we got going on in the baby's room. So... This was actually a lot worse. So this is currently what we're dealing with right now. Um, I'm not going to show you that up there because that's her knee. But this is currently what we're dealing with now. And let me tell you, this was a lot worse. Like, <laughs> this was a lot worse two, three weeks ago. It was just boxes and boxes and boxes everywhere. Like Amazon boxes, all that. So this is literally what we're dealing with now. It's not done yet at all. We're still missing a lot of stuff. But I'm going to try to do as much as I can now and get this as clean as I can now. So let me go ahead and show you. So the stressor for one is from Ikea. Um, Eric had installed the little knobs without spray painting them gold since we are going with like the white and gold theme. And yes those are black so those need to get changed so this is really bothering me let me go ahead and show you what i got going on here so basically i had just got a couple newborn diapers and a size one diapers i don't know well i don't know how big she is but i don't really know how big that actually looks like in person so i got some wipes here all stocked up um like the little water wipes that they give you then some diaper rash creams and vaseline here in this drawer we have um like all these little like miscellaneous stuff that we have picked up so um i know we probably won't be using these like johnson right away i mean not that there's anything wrong with it but we um do want to give the baby uh the baby janix uh a try so this is what we're planning on using this is gonna go downstairs in the cart because i will be downstairs for the first couple of weeks so i'm gonna be up and down the stairs uh we have the medi frida frida baby little medicine thingamabob and then these i have to take out of the box because it's almost time so it's like the little pacifier clips and then the baby basics they come with like the nasal aspirator um the windy the uh, the cover and the file and then the derma frida the skin soother i guess and then we have like the, <laughs> i'm sorry i got the first aid kit back there and then some half fires here um and then the half fires over here and then fit there and then like a little rubber duck toy i got oh some bath towels and receiving blankets and some swaddles in here so like as you can see there's still empty spots i have to go ahead and start that one. Uh, last load here's still a mess sorry um i started off 
with some newborn and zero to three month clothing. So these are like little pants and then those are body suits. And then these are just the regular, those are body suits. These are the little baby pants. And then these are the um, regular white onesies. Down here we have, uh, like I said, we're still in the process. Uh, uh, what do I have here? I think it's just three month, zero to three month um, shirts. So shirts and like short sleeve shirts and a period of the long sleeve shirts. And then in this last one, we have a couple of blankets. I'm doing the last load now of blankets and rest of stuff up here. We kind of got everything going on here. Whew, I need to go ahead and get all of this situated. We have this little giraffe. Well, I'm not really going to go into detail about what I have in the room. But I'm going to go ahead and like break off the and stuff and go from there. Um, so yes, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, I'm going to probably wipe down and start the last load of clothes and then we'll go from there. I've actually gotten used to like starting my like starting the water and then letting it soak up a little bit and putting the detergent the and then putting the soap in and letting it bubble and then throwing my clothes in because I just feel like it works better. I don't know. Now that it is bubbled, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw the clothes in here and get this little started. So. filming this but um i'm so sorry like that portion of the video ended where it did but my body was really telling me i was overworking myself i did not feel good and i just i had to stop for that night so we're just gonna continue on
wherever we left off in that video i know i have to fold the baby clothes so i'm about to go get the clothes they're currently in the dryer still because they're like you know i put, put it in the dryer but i never folded it so now i gotta fold it organize it and hopefully get as much as i can done so i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up in my room while i fold the clothes on the bed and then bring in the organizers and then go to, into the nursery and get everything else situated i'm so out of breath i'm so sorry if i'm like looking over there is because like the little screen is over there and the camera like the lens is over here but without further ado let's just go ahead and get this video rolling <laughs> Babe. Maybe you're recording. I am recording. Yeah. Yeah, look at money. You hungry? No. I think they're gonna make chicken so I don't have to worry about cooking. Really? Guys, I don't have to make dinner tonight. So I finally finished um, folding the clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm dealing with, and we're about to figure out how we're gonna organize everything. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm dealing with. So this is currently what my bed is looking like. Um, I have like folded the rest of the clothes, and I have brought over the bins here just so I won't be sitting on the floor in the nursery. But we got bows, hats, bibs, um, washcloths. Receiving blankets, fall back, fall back, fall back. socks, and mittens here. So let's go ahead and see how I'm about to organize this. Okay, so I got these little like organizer things at Ikea. So I'm going to just, I know I'm going to put the socks in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. See, like these are all different sizes. Like I don't know how I got these to be so... Cool. 